Hello there. This is Ken Orr. I'd like to introduce you to a new class we're doing called Developing Business Process Models in the Real World. Uh, I'm Ken Orr. I'm the founder and chief scientist of the Ken Orr Institute, and I've been working with the Business Process Management Institute uh, for five or six years now. We have a, a course here that has been in refinement for quite a long time. Uh, we have used this course uh, over the years, and it's proved to be quite successful. Uh, we talk about uh, how the, the, the process of business process modeling uh, works and how it fits into the overall uh, scheme of things. Uh, the, the goals for the course here really are to provide a clear understanding of what business process process modeling is and, and is not. Uh, we try to understand uh, what the basic systems framework for business process modeling is, uh, and in that we talk about a lot of the over, overall kinds of ideas like uh, value chains and value streams, and the difference between uh, what I call capital BP and small letter BP which are the big business processes and the individual detail ones. Uh, we try to provide an understanding of, with hands-on experience developing most of the uh, BP modeling techniques. Uh, BP modeling turns out to be uh, fairly straightforward if you get the right introductions. Uh, we try to provide an understanding of a basic BP framework or methodology for developing BP requirements. Uh, what we call internally uh, business process remodeling because in many respects it resembles the kind of things you do when you have to remodel your house or your business. We try to provide an understanding of the role that VPM tools and standards play, uh, especially in a world where uh, the technology is getting more complex uh, and there are more options. And we try to provide an understanding of the future trends in BP modeling, because we think that's particularly important uh, as we look ahead in terms of, of how business process fits in the overall scheme of things. I think the unique values of the course are really aimed at the difference between BP and the real world, which is how do you use it and the business process theory. Uh, turns out that there are some keys to being successful, uh, not all of which have to do with the tools, uh, but, but in fact have to do in many cases with how you set up the, the business process project, uh, how you get people involved, uh, what kinds of tools you use in addition to the standard workflow and business processing models. And understanding, we're trying to give you an understanding of the importance of setting the right goals and guidelines uh, for the success of business process projects. Uh, things like setting stringent goals so people will pay attention and, and be creative. Uh, we want to promote an understanding of the fundamental business process modeling approaches and diagramming approaches and, and business process tools. Uh, business process modeling should not be complicated, uh, and in fact, if it is too complicated, you're going to lose your users. So we talk a lot about how do you address uh, explaining things to users in a way that they can uh, adapt to them. Uh, we try to provide an understanding of the relationship between the business process and workflow management tools and techniques. It is very easy to get confused uh, when you're talking to tool vendors and to others in terms of exactly what business process models are, how you come up with them, and how they relate to workflow models. So it becomes important for you to understand what your workflow modeling tools can do for you and what they can. And then there's an, the understanding of the pro profound differences between managing traditional organizations and understand and managing business processes. Uh, I say in, in the class a lot, uh, business process modeling is, is more or less a, an unnatural organizational 
activity, and so you have to understand uh, how it is that you understand how you, how you you make it work in a fashion that people will appreciate. Uh, we have some quotes here about people who've been in my class. Uh, I think the best uh, recommendation is is what people say, and even more than that, what they come back and tell us years later about having used the, the ideas and the approaches uh, and following up uh, at, at future uh, conferences and, and, and seminars. Our training is, I think, uh, pretty complete, maybe the best in the industry, in the sense that, that you receive a cert certificate of training uh, and, and there is essentially a series of uh, core training that you can take and will get you a, an overall cer certificate uh, in business process management. We do uh, essentially face-to-face -face training that are essentially uh, these training courses that we give uh, in conjunction with the uh, BPM I Institute uh, conferences. Uh, we also do the same training uh, on a slightly or, or, or considerably more extended basis uh, for in-house courses where you have a lot of people that you want to bring up to speed. And increasingly, we're now beginning to put the, the basic courses online so people can uh, pick up these classes uh, in, in, at their own schedule, at their own pace around the world. Uh, we think that training is essential if you're going to be successful in business process management, uh, and we look forward to, to seeing you in a future class.